Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today I was going to do a little introduction for those who don't know on how to install mods and other parts into your Kerbal Space Program game. Now, if you have bought it from the Kerbal Space Program store and downloaded it, you get it in the form of a you know zip archive, zip file, which you unarchive in whatever location you want. I've put this on my SSD, which means that it's nice and fast. However, if you have downloaded it from Steam, one of the most common questions I get asked is, how do I find my Steam install, right? So if I go in here, this is my Steam, and you can see I have a bunch of games here, which I will get to play one of these days, if you'll let me. Uh, go right-click on Kerbal Space Program, scroll down to Properties, and under Local Files, you'll f see Browse Local Files. And there, you see, I've got it under Ray, on my raid array, my Steam collection is there, which really doesn't make much sense, does it, to have it on a raid array? I should put it on my less backed up disk. So yeah, we have all the, the game files there. Now, one thing you can do, and this is a, a useful thing to know, is that if you need, like me, to have multiple f different installs of Kerbal Space Program, right? So I can, I can create a new one, folder um, Steam KSP Steam, Right, and open uh, open this, copy the whole lot in there, and that will work. Even although your Steam has DRM and all that, Kerbal Space Program doesn't actually have uh, the same kind of DRM. You can have multiple copies of KSP installed at this time. So you can have one with Ferrum Aerospace and one without, for example. Most mods don't step on top of each other, but in that particular case, because Ferrum still overwrites internal files, it's uh, a good idea to have a separate install for that. Anyway, just say now, we'll go back to the directory I was working in, right? One, let's say we want to install a mod. I have the Fire Spitter Experiments. See, we have some parts, and we have the Fire Spitter pre-release. So I am I am on the bleeding edge here. So to install these, you now instead of what you used to do with Fire Spitter, which you would have all these things. These overwrite ostensibly they overwrite these directories here, but you don't need to do that anymore. What you can do is come up a directory, go into the game data directory, and drag it there. So there's now a squad directory and a fire spitter directory. And that will install these side by side. And it means that if you want to uninstall it, you don't need to uh, go in and remove these things one at a time. This is the pre-release. Do I have experiments? Yes, I have experiments here, right? So come up, FS experiments. Let's put that in there. No problem. Now, another thing you might want to do is install your own flags, right? So I'm going to go to my little KSP flags directory. Here we go. We get a couple of flags. First of all, we have this flag by Sky. Say hello. Which I made. Which you made, yeah. You see, this is a 256 by 160 image. Just show you that there. Uh, all hand-drawn with crayon. Brilliant stuff. Here's another one which uh, might be useful as a flag. So let's edit this one because it's the wrong size. So I'm going to scale this up. And what I want to do is you've got to cut out things that's roughly in the right aspect ratio for a flag. So I'm going to chop the top and the bottom a little here. There we go. I'm totally guesstimating what this is. Crop it. I'm using um, you know the inbuilt MS Paint or whatever that is. And we'll resize it. Remove aspect ratio. The horizontal needs to be 256. The vertical needs to be 160. And okay, let's... Oh, wow, that did not work well. Let's try that resize again. I said, oh, percentage. Yes, what a moron. <laughs> pixels, resize to pixels. 256 to 160 pixels. Go. There we go. We got a really tiny thing, and I can actually zoom in on it. And that is my amazing... It do, I don't look too squashed there. I think I'm maybe looking a little fat. So let's save this as a PNG. And we'll call it um, flysafe.png. Okay. So now we have these two images. Now to put this in, I'm going to create my own folder. I'm going to create this folder called Scott. All right. 
open this up, create a folder in here called flags. And now we're going to put fly safe and sky. Oh, I said we're going to put fly safe and sky into this folder. And now we're ready. We should be able to start this. And now watch the startup sequence and hopefully all our features are in here. So here we go. And of course, this is all being recorded on my desktop, so things are very slow. Actually, you notice I have Fraps running in the bottom left corner as well. I'm recording this using FF Split. For all you people that ask how I record stuff, I, I switch between FF Split, Fraps. I have a copy of Edition that dates back to several years ago from when I was doing DJing. That does my audio. And I use Sony Vegas for actual video editing because I find it light and fast, and I can do most of the things that I actually need do. Um, word of advice, if you're going to buy software like Sony Vegas or whatever, actually go to a, a, like the Amazon store. Don't download the digital version. I found that the digital version of Vegas like Platinum was $130, whereas the disc version, which was the same, cost $70. So let's see if we can find... Um, our flags. Start new, we'll call it test. We'll set our flag. And look, we have Fluttlefly Sage. Uh, I am indeed the Sage of Flying, apparently. Start. <laughs> and there we have <laughs> me there. So one of the things with the Fire Spitter pack is, I think right now the, the example aircraft are installed in this directory, which doesn't actually link to anything. So if you just copy those files and you can Either stick them in your stock folder, which I would like an option, incidentally, to make things stock. Copy them in there, and then when you go to this, you can load them, and they're there. So you can have your Mustang. Load this. Let's give it a quick go. How's that? Launch. Launch. Well, this thing will, of course, fly away. I'm not going to fly this very far. You see, we've had the information thing, which I know you can open with the I button. And we get our little thing going on, little uh, aircraft, and we have this installed. Excellent, victory roll. Now let's land this thing. Oh, I said land this thing, not install this thing. I don't have Ferrum installed here, but if you want to, you can install it. Just can bring this down. Try not to crash at this time. Because people think that I can't fly aircraft, but in fact, I do just like to uh, skip through aircraft very, very quickly. And crashing aircraft is kind of cool. Okay, well, I hit the brakes too hard, but I did in fact land it. Look, let's go back to the space center. One, so uh, a while back, I had this idea for a video <laughs> where I really literally wanted to fly safe <laughs> and well this this model was created by uh, the developer of fire spitter and he s privately sent it to me and then i kind of didn't have time to do the video <laughs> uh, the, the time kind of ran i was originally aiming to fly safe for my 50,000 viewers but yes that's finally available in the fire spitter experiments pack so you literally can fly safe. I am Scott Manley. Fly safe.